whatever they try to say, mainstream media tries to say and all that. Let's remember what the what the Jackson family represents for us, what they did for us, what they sacrificed for us, what they still represent now. Let let's salute them and respect them for that. Let's celebrate them for that. And you know, I and I, I just want to just say that, you know, from the bottom of my heart to the Jackson family, thank you guys so much. Real shit. That's dope. Definitely, definitely. Speaking of that, it's funny you say that because Kanye West came out today. I'm going to get your opinion on this. And he pretty much came out and said that the white media destroyed uh, Michael Jackson. He also put a couple other names in there. And he also said that uh, black media, you know, wouldn't destroy a white person in that way. What are your thoughts on what Kanye West said about Michael no, Jackson and white, white media? You know what? No disrespect, but I have. And he's from the shy. I have no thoughts on Kanye. And, and what he, um, the messaging that he's presenting, um, because I recognize that, um, respectfully, I recognize that he has challenges with mental health. Um, so there are things that he says from time to time um, that I don't know, I, I think are polarizing and there may be some truth in them, but I can't really, I can't really weigh them. I can't really weigh them in my mind uh, with a with a great deal of of importance or relevance because it's just like he'll say something like that one minute and then he'll say something another minute. So just respectfully, out of the fact that I know that this is something that is challenging for him, uh, I just don't choose to 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 comment on anything that Kanye has to say as it relates to anything. But what I will say as far as mainstream media's portrayal of uh, Michael Jackson. And just black artists in general. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some truth to that. Um, it seems like mainstream media does when when the opportunity presents itself, uh, they will go hard in looking to knock that black celebrity off of their pedestal. But here's what I'll also say, and just in all fairness, I see that shit happening on social media all the time, even within our own community. Or we try to knock each other off of a pedestal. So, you know, the way I kind of look at it is like the life of a celebrity or the role that you play as an influencer or a celebrity, um, there's always going to be somebody looking to knock you down. Uh, whether it's mainstream media or it could be the person, uh, it could be the person next to you or somebody close to you. What I encourage um, Black celebrities to do to the best of their ability is just to you know, always be mindful of the 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 special role that you play um, in society and as it relates to representing your people. Um, be mindful of the things that you're saying. Uh, be mindful of the ways by which you're representing yourself. Be mindful of the things that you're saying as it relates to the community and the issues that affect us. And recognize and respect the fact that when you put yourself out there in the forefront, whether it's on shows like this, or whether it be on, um, or, or whether it you know be on your own platforms, you know when you actively come out and say things, um, you have to recognize the fact that people are going to have a rebuttal or people are going to have an opinion about it, whether it be you know negative or positive. But the only thing that you can do to the best of your ability is just try to present yourself truthfully and present yourself uh, respectfully. Right. And I think if more people kind of embrace that kind of mindset, um, you won't you won't see as much of that. Because a lot of the times when mainstream media targets like a black celebrity and try to bring them down, try to bring that person down, it's really based off of something kind of that they kind of initiated themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seemingly at, at times, like, you know, case in point uh, with Nick, with, with my with my brother, Nick Cannon. And I love Nick. That's that's yeah. my dog. That's my brother. Nick is a, let me say this, Nick is a great guy. He's an awesome person. Um, and he has a good heart and his intentions are good, not only for his immediate community, but for everybody. I know that for a fact, because I've worked with the man and I know the man. But unfortunately, based off of statements that he made that, you know, at that time were kind of misinformed or maybe came from a place of being uninformed, they just caused a huge backlash. And, you know, it caused all of these different people to comment on it and have something negative to say about it. 
And unfortunately, mainstream media really latched on to that and tried to the best to the best of their ability to to really bring him down and drag him into the mud. And honestly, that could have been avoided. And so that I, I use that as an example to say to my other young um, black celebrities out there, influencers, you know, look, shit happens. We all make mistakes. We all say things from time to time that um, we may we may need to atone for or that we may need to retract or maybe even apologize for. But just try to the best of y'all's ability to recognize that you do have a voice that is powerful, that you're influencing people and keep that in, at the forefront of your mind, whether you're on social media or whether you're walking out into the world, you are serving as an example. You know what I'm saying? You are serving as a representative of our community and just do, do your best to make the community proud and to represent the community in the right way. And so, you know, that that's my personal opinion about that. I'm sure there's some people that may disagree with that. That's okay. But that's kind of the way that I see it. Right. When you were talking about Michael Jackson, you made me think it's kind of coincidental that a lot of the atrocities they blamed him for, a lot of them are being blamed for it now. It's kind of coincidental. But well, like like the you know, the negative. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's I mean, you know, Michael Michael's situation too is really unique. Um, cause I even heard an interview on, um, and I think Taj may have given it on the breakfast club with Charlemagne the God. And, you know, he was saying due to Michael owning, uh, Sony ATV in the, you know, the Beatles catalog and how he felt like, um, there was a, a conspiracy, you know, to, to kill his uncle. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. There may, there may be some, some truth in that. I mean, there, there have been times where uh black men or women that have been in you know significant positions of power it does seem like from time to time if an opportunity presents itself like it if mainstream media can latch on to it or the powers that be they'll do whatever they can to try to dismantle that person or to silence their voice so i'm not saying that it doesn't exist i'm not saying that that doesn't exist um i recognize that it exists but what i was saying in my message was to to young black influencers out there or black influencers in general and let's just be careful when stepping in that minefield mm -hmm. that we don't get trapped up because it, it does exist. But mm -hmm. let's just be more careful when moving around in that minefield because they they will try to they will try to hinder you, especially when you have a voice that resonates in the community and that brings like a a, a level of uh, knowledge and enlightenment. It, uh, yeah, you can you can be viewed as a threat. Definitely. What's your thoughts on um, snitch culture being celebrated? Because you had a, an incident where you spoke out about people um, celebrating young Boosie being released. And you said a statement to where I was like, how come we can't celebrate, you know, black men that stayed out of prison? So um, what's your thoughts on that, that whole situation and snitch culture being celebrated? Well, no, well, no it's like it's like what I said. It's like what I said on, on Vlad on Vlad TV regarding that that. Uh, you know, that comment that I made that first of all, that comment wasn't directed at Boosie. Like, it's like what I said in, in his interview, that, that was, a, that was a question that I was presenting to the community. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was trying to provoke a conversation for us to have as a community, but in no way. And I, and I want to clarify that in you guys show in no way was that a diss towards Boosie. Like I listen to Boosie music. You know what I'm saying? I've listened to Webby's music. Like I've listened to those guys. Like, I fuck with Baton Rouge and there, anybody coming from, from out of there. So it wasn't, it wasn't about that because I've had friends that have been incarcerated before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when they come home, we sell we celebrate them coming home. Like we popping bottles and shit. You know, we doing the whole thing. So what it wasn't that. What I was just saying the community was like, hey man, you know, at the same time that we're doing that and celebrating those of us who are coming home, you know, let let's focus our, our energies and our attention towards the kids too that are like graduating from high school or graduating from college that we may not post as much on social media. That's all I was saying. You know, I think people that just wanted, it was trolls and people that just wanted something negative to find out of that. Um, you know, they 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 put gasoline on that and try to turn it into something that it that it wasn't, trying to make it seem like I was looking to discredit um another black man. And that and that wasn't the case, man. And, you know, Boosie understands that and everybody else that 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 saw that interview and that saw my rebuttal as it relates to people commenting on that, you know, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I, I won't even, um, I won't go deeper into it, but that, that's just my personal 
that was my personal viewpoint uh on it at the time mm -hmm. um and i think you know even now I, I won't say that as it relates to now because we're in an era now um in this new black renaissance if you will a new black awareness where we are doing more celebrating of one another our accomplishments our achievements you know our children excelling at education uh, raising more awareness as it relates to HBCUs. You know, you're seeing these uh, um, young high school prospects coming out of, you know, looking at these colleges now, making these announcements that they go into HBCU. So that's not applicable to right now, that statement that I made, but to some degree it was applicable back then when I first mentioned it. But all in all, I'm glad that we were able to have that discussion as a community, whether people agree with me or not, whether people chose to judge me harshly for it or not, that's fine. 